Another group of veterans wants the 20th anniversary to serve as a reminder of the need for mental health services. Today they joined forces with a well-known nonprofit to share their message. Here's Christelle Kumwe. The mental wounds that have been sustained and endured since 9-11 have been ignored for far too long. One by one, Friday morning. Battles and trauma don't stay in the field. They follow us to our home, to our families, friends, loved ones. Five Oregon veterans shared personal struggles with mental health challenges after traumatic experiences while serving. For years after my enlistment ended, my life was a cycle of drugs, alcohol, houselessness, and suicide attempts. As Marines, it is drilled into us to not ask for help or admit any kind of weakness. Pain is weakness leaving the body. Physical pain was ignored and mental pain was never spoken of. The veterans gathered Friday at Lines for Life, a nonprofit dedicated to preventing substance abuse and suicide. Having Lines for Life something where, where I can share my story, where I can be around veterans that have the same interest as me and be able to not feel like I'm alone, um, it's, it's gone a long way. They're here to advocate for more services, from mental health to housing resources for veterans. Really uh, try and remove the red tape. There were shortcomings in the mental health system before the pandemic. Now they have just gone through the roof. Senator Ron Wyden hopes to mobilize Senate colleagues around the issue. There needs to be a special focus on behavioral health that is hugely important. As each of the veterans took to the podium to call for more care. It's hard for many of us to not feel discarded or thrown away. They carried a hope that the country they served will answer the call. As veterans, our country says, go. And we answer the call, we go fight that war. Now more than ever, it is our turn to help our veterans fight the war raging in their minds. Christelle Kumwe. KGW News.